Medical Notepad, brought to you by Cardiovascular Systems Incorporated's patient advocacy campaign, Take a Stand Against Amputation, and The Way to My Heart. Hi, I'm Ophir Isaac, Doctor of Physical Therapy with All Care Physical Therapy in Brooklyn, New York, and the Neurocorrective Wellness Institute, with this week's Medical Notepad. Have you been feeling pain in your calf or calves or thighs when walking and you're not sure if it's caused by a clogged up artery or vessel in your leg or your back? These symptoms could be very similar when you have pain with walking. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out if your problem is coming from lower back stenosis or narrowing in your back, or if it's purely coming from a artery in your leg or calf that's clogged up. Now, the symptoms that you feel with walking in your thighs or calf or calves could be caused by many different reasons, but the two most common reasons if you're over the age of 60 and you're not very active could be caused by either what they call neurogenic claudication neurogenic means of the nerves of the back or vascular claudication which means a clogging up of your arteries in your legs vascular now if you have a history of smoking or sedentary lifestyle where you don't move a lot and don't exercise and you may or may not have prediabetes or diabetes, high blood pressure, your symptoms may be driven more from a vascular component. It's very hard to tell. So here's one simple way to figure it out. If the problem is coming from your vascular system or arteries, generally, it will be on one leg. It will be either in your left leg or right leg and mostly it will be in your calf region. When you're walking and exerting yourself, like for instance, walking up a hill or climbing stairs or you're walking faster, it's going to make your heart try to pump blood to your calf muscles to do the job and you're going to feel the symptoms worsening on that calf. As soon as you stop walking and rest and sit down, the symptoms may go away. That is probably more of what they call vascular claudication. If your problem is coming from neurogenic or nerves due to compression at the lumbar spine or where your back meets your hips in your lower back, the symptoms are going to be in both of your thighs most likely and they're going to go down your thighs in the buttocks and in your calves and they're going to be bilateral or both sides, typically both sides versus if it was vascular. Also, the symptoms will get worse when you are going downhill because you will be extending your spine. So extending your spine or leaning backwards will make your symptoms worse if the problem is coming from your lower back because it's compressing the nerves called the core equina which are a bunch of nerves that come out right before the sciatic nerve and those nerves are being pinched in the bones of your spine that have arthritis in it. That's called spinal stenosis. You'll also notice if it's coming from your back that when you bend down like this and you bend forward, you'll feel better and your pain will alleviate in your thighs or your calves. So the big difference will be Leaning backwards will make your pain worse if it's coming from your back. Leaning forwards will make it lessened if it's coming from your back. 
if it's coming from your calf and it's clogged up arteries from peripheral artery disease, it will get worse when you walk for a long period of time or exert yourself. As soon as you rest, the problem will go away. Bending your spine forward or back will never take your pain away. Just rest will do that. Hopefully that helps you out. The advice and views offered are my own. Always check with your healthcare team before acting on any of the information in this video. For more information on how to improve strength, mobility and circulation, check out my site at www.allcarept.com. Medical Notepad brought to you by Cardiovascular Systems Incorporated's patient advocacy campaign, Take a Stand Against Amputation, and The Way to My Heart. For more information about PAD, go to standagainstamputation.com. And for real-time support, go to thewaytomyheart.org.